give you all of those things. The same man that legalized you to smoke marijuana, right? Let's turn it back to, 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 the, to the master that fed us when we was in slavery, right? We need to turn back to the father to learn his ways, right? Come on. Serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. At one point in time, we was hateful. I'm gonna give it right back to you, officer. At one point in time, we was hateful. We hated each other, right? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, right? We serve what? All different types of lust. All different types of lust we serve, come on. Verse four, but after that, the kindness and love of God, our savior toward man appeared. Get first Timothy chapter one. And I think it's verse seven or verse eight. I want you to start there. What's your name, brother? Yo? Joe. Joe, Joe. I'm I'm Kyle, Officer Kyle. What's your name, sister? Shayna. Shayna and Joe. All right. Shayna and Joe, listen good, all right? I'm gonna say something. What does God's laws say? What do they say? What do they mean? Do the right thing. Do the right thing, all right? What's some laws that we was taught as a child that we need to keep? Do say it again? Do, do unto others. All right. So that's love your neighbor as you love yourself. Right? That's a law. All right. Along with that, we have some other laws. All right. Here's a law. Exodus chapter 20. We're going to show you a law of God because we read. We're going to come back to Timothy, but we read that the law was good. Right. This is a law. Come on. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Joe, God says, remember the Sabbath day. That's a law, right? What day is the Sabbath? What day is the Sabbath? The seventh day of the week. Right. What day is that on the calendar? What do we call the seventh day of the week today? God calls it day seven, right? Right? Today we know it as what? No. You see that? Saturday. Saturday. Those are more lies that we were taught by who? This man right here. All right? You take out a calendar on your phone. What's the first day you go see? No. Take it out right now. You got a phone? You got a calendar on your phone? Pull it out right now. Pull up the calendar. All right, all right, well, if you pull up a calendar, normally, unless you have some special setting on your phone, the first day is going to be Sunday, the first day of the week. Monday is the second day of the week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday is going to be what? The seventh day of the week, all right? The seventh day of the week. So many of us think that the Sabbath day is Sunday. Why? But there you go, because the, the church taught us that. But that's not true according to God. God don't even de God deals with day one, day two, day three. That's what he did. On day seven, he rested, right? On day seven, it's going to tell you how this day should look. Read on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, right? Read on. In it, thou shalt not do any work. Now on Sunday, all right, uh, do people go to work on Sunday? Some. Huh? Some. Some people do, right? Is it, is it good or bad to go to, to, go to, to, go to work on Sunday? Bad. Right? That's what people think. Because Sunday is believed to be the Sabbath day, but it's not. Saturday is the Sabbath day. Does people go to work on Saturday? Yeah. Everybody go on Saturday. Don't they have all the sales on Saturday? Right? Don't you get uh, 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 the, all, do all your side work on Saturday? Yeah. Right? That's when you make, do all your business on Saturday? Everything. Everything happened on Saturday. God says on Saturday, you ain't supposed to be buying and selling nothing because ain't nobody supposed to be working. If ain't nobody working, where you going to go buy? <laughs> you can't buy nothing. Right? Come on. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it, thou shalt not do any work. In it, thou shalt not do any work on Saturday, not Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. We talking about day seven, Saturday. That's today. So today, no one should be buying or selling anything, nothing at all. Thus saith the Lord. And if we are buying and selling today, going to the store, filling our car with gas, you know, you need to drink some water. All those provisions should have been made already. They should have been made already, right? God says when you do that, you're in sin. Read on. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. 
For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is. So God worked for six days to create everything we see right now. All of God's creation was made in six days. That's the template, the model that we have to follow. We got six days to take care of all of our work. And then on the seventh day, we're supposed to have made provisions for us and our family, everybody in our household, so that nobody got to spend any money today. All right, you already got gas in your car. You already uh, bought the food from the grocery store. All right, you already cooked it. All right, you're going to eat it cold today. You ain't going to heat it up because God say ain't no cooking today either. People cook on Sunday? Yeah, no question about that. I can't get around that way. So if Sunday is the so-called Sabbath, why are people cooking? Can you get that for me? Yes, sir. Why are people cooking if it's, the, if it's the Sabbath? It doesn't make any sense. That's what, we, that's what we're showing you today. All right? Sunday ain't the real Sabbath. All right? Sunday is the first day of the week. You really worship in the sun. All right? That comes from uh, Babylon, really. Sun worship. Goes all the way back to Babylon. All right? And then it goes to the Greeks and the Romans and, you know, and into America today. All right. But originally, that goes all the way back to Babylon. All right. Ancient Babylon. All right. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Come on. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord had said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. Unto the Lord, bake that which you will bake today. Joe, you listening? All right. So what day are we reading about right now? It said, tomorrow's the Sabbath. So what day was that in the Bible? Sunday. Say it again? Sunday. No. It said, tomorrow's the Sabbath. Right? right? If I say, today is the Sabbath, you know that. But we're reading the scriptures about a man who's speaking about tomorrow. Right? So that day has to be Friday. Right? And tomorrow's the Sabbath. Saturday. You with me? So he's giving them instruction on what to do to prepare for God's Sabbath. Read it again. Verse 23, and he said unto them, This is that which the Lord had said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. So bake what you're going to bake today. Put it in the oven. Get it right. Cook it. Finish it. Get it done. Do it today. That's Friday. All right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even Sunday, you have to prepare for the whole week. So by the time Friday comes... You should be preparing double for that day and the next day, which is the Sabbath. That would be today. So we should have did that yesterday, huh, Joe? We should have made provisions yesterday. We should have went to the gas station, put the gas in the car, right? We should have went to the grocery store, got everything we wanted to eat, right? Anything we wanted to drink, right? Any special errands we needed to run, right? Any bills we needed to pay. We can't worry about that stuff today. It's the Sabbath. We got to rest today. All right, we don't. We got to be refreshed today. That's what the scriptures say. Are you gonna be refreshed, Joe? If you thinking about the bills that you owe people, are you are you gonna be refreshed? And you thinking about uh, the the gas that you ain't got in your car? Nah, you gonna be worried. Come on, bake that which you will bake today, and see that you will see, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So you gotta lay these things up until the morning, Joe. We dealing with the Sabbath. So you got to remember to keep God's commandments and that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. You're an Israelite and you got to keep God's commandments. What day is the Sabbath? You told me it was Sunday. Don't forget it. It's Saturday. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.